verse 20, for everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light. That his works may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. Now listen, Jesus said what? You shall know them by their fruits. See? People are going to know you by your works, by your fruits. You can't do good fruits unless you walk with Jesus. Unless Jesus is over your life. Yes, we sin every day. But that's what the Holy Spirit is there to convict you, to convict me. Now, if, if, if the Holy Spirit is convicting you of something and you're rebelling against the Holy Spirit and you're going to do what you want to do, then listen, before you do it, man, there are consequences. You better think about the consequences. Sin, you miss the mark. Transgression, you don't miss the mark. You willfully sin against God, knowing the truth. You will be, you will be judged. You will be judged, and you will pay in judgment. That's why it's important to know you have to be born again of the Holy Spirit. You need Jesus in your life. I need Jesus in my life. Get up in the morning, you read, you pray, you go to work, you know, and you, you're, you're doing what's right. You're at work, you don't steal pencils anymore. Whatever you used to take. You're a Christian. You don't get there 10 minutes later. You get 10 minutes early. You leave 10 minutes after everybody leaves. You don't take long lunches. You pay your taxes. You do what's right if you're a Christian. But if you call yourself a Christian and you're not paying your taxes, Jesus said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God then what you're doing is you're bringing a bad witness. It'd be better for you not to call yourself a Christian until you get your life right with God. Because you don't want to push people away from Christ. You want to draw people to Christ. And that's by our lives. The people will come to know who Jesus Christ is in my life. Ooh.